damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school. Man, can you believe this year's already over? We're practically seniors now. Just one more year. You think anything interesting will happen? You never know. Well, seeing the current seniors makes me wonder. Seems like all they frickin' do is study. <laughs> Talk about boring. Is that gonna be us next year? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? In some weird deja vu. Hmm. Hey, it, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute. How come I never noticed her before? What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Seriously? Uh, what's her name then? I don't know. So then why are you giving me a hard time? Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. With so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Akihiko Senpai's moving out. You know, the captain of the boxing team. I know who he is, but I haven't really talked to him. Of course, all the graduates are leaving, even Kirijo Senpai. Miss Student Council President. She's in our dorm too, huh? Hey there. Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Um, it's nothing. She looks kind of depressed, doesn't she? Wait, do you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> I doubt it. Ouch, that hurts. By the way, Yukatan. Uh, never mind, forget it. Aw, oh, come on now, don't give me that. Um, well, do you remember how we became friends? I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I was just thinking. Well, it's not like we're best friends or anything, so I guess it just kind of happened. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. It is kind of weird, actually, now that I think about it. But I can't really explain why. Anyway, that girl. Oh, crap. Class has ended for today. Yep. And, uh... I mean, I, I guess we can go talk to our friends. Yeah, I guess we can do that. Hey, look, Kenji. Hey, Kenji. What's up, buddy? Sup, Makoto? Dude, I've got a super important announcement to make. Want to hear? Huh? Okay, here it goes. And this is just between you and me, okay? Next year, there are three fine-looking women teachers coming in. Ah. <sighs> After Emmy, I mean, uh, Miss Connell leaves, there's no spark to the faculty roster, right? Miss Toriyumi has that weird secret she refuses to tell anyone. Miss Onishi is obsessed with medicine. Miss Teruchi is like going to India or somewhere. I mean, come on! Even our nurse is a guy. Even if he's good at a job, nurses are supposed to be girls! Damn. That's some mighty fine sexism you got there, Kenji. He's ruining my lifelong dream to fake sick, ditch class, and chat with the hot nurse. You okay, dude? You're not looking so good. No, it's just a cold. Yeah, I'm tired. You should see the nurse, but uh, I'm not going with you, dude. Why not? We can be friends. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I heard those new teachers are coming by today to check out the campus. I'm thinking about hanging around the faculty office to scope them out. Want to come? I think I'll pass. 
Eh. Nope. There you go again. Always the cool customer, oh sir, Makoto. See, starting next year, we can choose our homeroom. So we've got to make sure we choose the right one, if you catch my drift. Wait a minute. Oh, crap. Today's not March 3rd, is it? Shit. <laughs> Sorry, man. I gotta get lost before <sighs> she gets here. Oh, man. You're she? sweating. Now I'll ask. My little sis. Oh. She'll be coming here starting next year, but she's gonna swing by today and look around. But I'm not gonna be her damn tour guide. I don't wanna lead her around by the hand where everyone can see. <sighs> I wish I had an older sister instead. Well, whatever. I'm gonna jet. Later, Makoto. Laters. Laters. Yes, yeah, see you later, buddy. You want to just talk to everyone? Yeah, sure. A lot of stuff's happened in this past year. I don't remember what exactly, but it was big. I know that. But if it was that big, shouldn't I remember it a little better? Oh, man. It's making my head spin. I'm confusing myself. What the hell did we do this year? I don't know. It just went by so fast, man. It was really That's quick. what high school is. Honestly, that was every year of my high school journey was like, what the fuck did I even do this year? Yeah. You know what? I don't know. Who the fuck are you? That's the athletic advisor. Oh, man. It's from Mamoru. Oh, it's Mamoru. Bit of school. Sorry he's gone. Oh, yeah. He went off to that thing. <laughs> Great. All right, cool. Are you gonna? <laughs> you open the letter. What's to say. Why we go all the way up here for this? I don't know. How are things, Makoto? I never knew your address, so I'm sending this to your school. Great. Makoto's just reading this to it in his in his voice. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing good. I'm starting to get used to the job, too. But what I really wanted to talk to you about was swim team. Swim team. Yeah. Before, I had totally given up on the idea of continuing swim team. Continuing swim team. But even so, part of me still didn't want to let it go. Let it go. I had to do it. But swim team was my whole life. Swim team. I guess the plant manager realized what's up. He's helping me out. We're going to make a swim team. That's weird. Well, I call it a team, but it's really just a few guys at the factory. We practice after work, and sometimes on our days off. The other day, we did endurance swimming at Lake Biwa. We even climbed Mount Hiei. What? He's small. That's, that's a real small mountain. <laughs> we don't have fancy equipment like before, so it's not as efficient, but I'm enjoying myself. Most of the guys are just in it for fun, and we don't do much serious training, but... I guess it's a good handicap for me. How about you? You're still at it, right? I'm sure you're just going to keep getting better and better. I'm almost as anxious for you to improve as I used to be about myself. It's a strange feeling. Yeah. So hey, Makoto. Put the beans on it. One day, <laughs> you and I are going to go at it again. <laughs> Sure. This time, it'll be my turn to be your rival and get things going. No way! 
He's going to be our shadow. It yeah. feels nice oh my God. having he's, a goal. He's going to turn into shadow. I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. I can't believe I had forgotten what that was like. Oh, yeah. And my mom's getting better. She's in a sanatorium with fresh air and good doctors. My relatives and friends come by the house, so my brothers are well taken care of, too. That's nice. Everything's going great these days. I feel like I'm able to take care of the people who matter to me. It's really fulfilling. This is a really long letter. <laughs> and it's thanks to you that it's all come together. So, thanks, man. Can't wait to see you again, Makoto. You better be ready. You should probably mail him like a chili dog or something. The letter ends there. I mean, I don't agree with the ending of that social link, but I'm glad that it's all going out for going well for him. You know, I'm, I'm yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I'm happy that yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog is doing well. Yeah, he's, he's doing a great job on his own. Yep. Speed. Sometimes I you just gotta run. Speed. I love speed. All right, hey, so Chihiro. We, yeah, we could talk to her if I want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But she left a bad taste in my mouth. And by that, I mean her pussy smells bad. Damn. Ooh. Oh, Makoto-san. Uh, are you okay? You don't look so good. I told you, it's a, I, I tell, I mean, it's a cold. Calm down. You should get home and rest before it gets worse. Right now, I, um... Oh, sorry. You're feeling sick, and here I am making you stand around. What are you gonna say? Koto san. Well, it isn't much, but. Oh, yeah, we banged, didn't we? Yeah, we totally banged. Oh, fuck. We gotta have a conversation with her now. That'll last five minutes. Look at this flyer here. The history of passionate love between teachers and students. What? Don't worry about it. People are free to fall in love with each other. There's nothing bad about it. I can see why it would be a problem if it was between a teacher and a student, but... That doesn't give them the right to make fun of it like this. Yeah, look at Kenji. Yeah, look at Kenji. He's my boy. I'm going to write a protest letter to the school paper. Damn. Huh. Oh, I'll be alright on my own. You know, if this was in uh, America, though, it would be a big problem because that's technically pedophilia. But I guess in Japan it's Don't not. Don't worry about it. I'll go by myself. Makoto-san, thank you very much. Do you want to hang out? I've made up my mind. It's not much, but... Next year, I want to join the student council too. Yeah. The things that showed me the way to change myself. It was student council. A and you. Yeah. Maybe you'll even be president. Maybe. So... I want to push myself harder. I want to like myself more. And I want you to like me more too. I want you to be the first one in your thoughts. What? Wait. You read on. that wrong. I read that super wrong. I saw your under that and I fucking transplanted it. I want to be the first one in your thoughts. Sorry, that's not happening. All right, listen. My my passion for you reached its ceiling a while ago. All right. Damn. That's why. Um. I like you. You're very sweet. You're a very sweet girl. I'm sorry. I'm such an asshole. Yeah, I'm super ass. What am I saying? <laughs> 
<laughs> Super ass. I can't believe I said something like that at school. I'm sorry. I know, I just said super ass. I just heard Kenji yell shit at the top of his lungs. Yeah, it's right? true. Jesus. Don't worry about it. Well, please excuse me. But maybe next time we could go home together. Maybe. I got an infection last time. I don't think so. Or if not there, I have a lot of places I'd like to see. That's fine. I want to visit each of them with you. You know, I feel kind of bad. I feel like I feel, I'm, a little I feel bad. like I'm starting to like her. She's she is kind of cute, but I mean, I yeah. just don't. It's it's me. It's not her. That's like to say it. You know, not to be cliche, but it is me. It's, it's, it's not me, her. not you. Oh, Makoto-kun. Sorry, it's the exact same voice. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say. It. I was thinking. I was like, "Wow, Sky, what voice will you do?" I mean, you know, I, I'm. <laughs> if I had a vagina, it would at least be a different voice. But I do not, and this is the extent of my range with women voices. So, you know. Yeah. Stop asking me to see the nurse. It's a cold. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, just feel a little under the weather. Oh, why don't I go with you? I'm going to the faculty office, and the nurse's office is next door. I want to be by your side as much as I can. Okay, you're fucking adorable. Alright. Yeah, let's go. I'd be happy to go with you. Your hair reminds me, for some reason, of a mushroom. <laughs> oh. This is actually the first time we've walked side by side in school, huh? I'm a little nervous. Yeah, so long as, you know, Yukari and Mitsuru don't see, it was fine. Hey man, it's Mr. Ikoda. How the fuck did you know that? Because I, I, I know his face. Did you, see it? <laughs> did you see it like a second before it popped up for me or something? <laughs> no, I, I did see it before that, but I, I you, it was my first guess, actually. Mm -hmm. Yamagishi, what are you doing outside the faculty office? Um, I want to start a tech club. What? Tech gloves? You mean technician's gloves? Okay, dude, you can't be actually that stupid and be a teacher. Well, I think you'd have to go for a hardware to a hardware store for those. I'm um, not tech gloves, a tech club. Like a club all about technology and electronics. You want to start a club? Ugh. Why is Yamagishi so troublesome? Why would you say that out loud? Why would you actually say that? Why are you not fired? You, he's, Mystery he, Koda has been the center of a lot of fucking problems. Yeah, he's, he's a really bad teacher. Look, it's already March. Can't you at least wait until April? Huh? But I really want to get started on it now. I'll do my best to find members. Um, so do I have your permission to start a club? What? You mean to say you don't have any members yet? Then it's not even worth discussing. You can't start a club without at least five members. Now then. Oh, he's gone. Love that face. Yeah, it's that face. Well, looks like I need to find five people. Makoto-kun, would you like to join my tech club? I love tech. And clubs. I love, I love tech. I actually really like that idea. Yeah. I would totally be in a tech club. Yes, I'm so glad. Especially if I get to be the vice president. I was hoping you would say that. I thought... 
liking electronics made me strange. I always kept it to myself, because I thought it was strange for a girl to be interested in that. But if you can accept me for being this way... I don't want to hide it anymore. No more pretending to be someone else to my friends. I have decided to be strong and let everyone know who I really am. Even if people think I'm strange, that's okay. I'll have you with me, so there's nothing to be scared of. I want to meet lots of people like me and hang out with them. I kept my love of electronics hidden, so I never had any friends who shared my interests. That's why I thought I'd start a club all about it. Maybe other people like that sort of thing as well. If so, I want a way to talk to them. But I admit it, it makes me a little nervous. Oh, but I'll keep coming to photography club. I'll be busy, but it's important that I do this as well. Photography club. Oh fuck, case gay. Yeah. Don't it's worry like about it. Jumping off the diving board at the pool. That's how it feels. Hey, Makoto kun. You'll stay in the photography club next year too, right? I don't know about that. I want to stay in whatever clubs you're in. I want to be in the same homeroom too. And I want to see more of you at the dorms. Can I just hug you? Yeah, we can I like hug. I just want to be with you more in general. Same. I've been saying more a lot. I hope you don't think I'm taking advantage of your kindness. Hey, you can say whatever you want to me, okay? I might not be reliable, but I want to get to know you better. I want to get closer to you. Oh, I've got to hurry and find some club members. I need to make some posters, and other things too. Well, see you later. Next time, maybe we can talk about it more in my room. Okay. I like that idea. Wow, Fuka. Yeah, she got bold. Well, I really have to go now. Bye. All right, bye. I'll see you in your room. Man, girl, you grew a pair. <laughs> Figurative pair. Um, hey, it's Hidetoshi. Yeah, I guess if you wanna. Oh, come on. Yeah, okay. Do you not want it? Do you want to go visit Mario instead? No. In the bathroom? No, I don't want to do that. Oh, hello, Makoto. -ku. Sorry. <laughs> you don't look good. Are you okay? Why does everyone ask that? I'm fine. Well, time flies. It's already March. Hmm. There's something I wanted to tell you. We'll still be able to talk to each other next year, but... I wanted to say this while we're still both on student council. I'm going to quit the council. Why? I'm just not going to apply next year. That cigarette business gave me a lot to think about. Yeah, that cigarette business that lasted a whole fucking year. Yeah, it was really long. This may sound odd, but... Do you think this country is headed in the right direction? Uh... I... Yes? Um, that's a very difficult question for me to answer, because I'm not Japanese. Yes. Um... I see. Well, I feel differently. Fuck. That's fine. You're an optimistic man, so maybe society looks different through your eyes. 
Around January, there was a sinister cult growing in popularity. Oh yeah, I remember that. A society without a future. For many people out there, that's the reality. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was thinking how we could change that. What it would take to change society. I thought maybe one influential person could start a revolution. But, starting a revolution just because you have the power to do it creates more problems. That's what the Nixist incident taught me. I realized how naive I had been. Now, I think the best thing for society is more education. Things that each of us have to learn before going out into the world. That's what that's what's needed most. So I'm thinking of becoming a teacher. Oh cool. A society is dictated by its people. If we improve the people's minds, society will likewise be improved. Aren't you going to laugh at me? Say something like you a teacher? Nah, I think it would work. Do you want to laugh or do you want to don't laugh? Uh... No. I see. I'll do my best. That's all I wanted to tell you. That and to say thanks. It was thanks to you that I reached this conclusion. Cool. Go like a pro. I'm gonna miss you, Crunk. Yeah. Wait, he's gonna be in next year. I'm gonna miss you, Crunk. <laughs> Here's Mitsuru. Uh, is... We oh, can man. save her. We can save her. Save the wife for, for She's later. gonna look around a little bit more. We can talk to this girl. Who fuck? I don't know. Um, is there are there any other school links that are around here? I don't think so. Where's um, where's what's his face? Oh, uh, fucking dude. D yeah, dude. <laughs> it's going there. So, oh, it's locked. I don't know where he is. Where's what's his face? What the fuck is his name? You know what? I think we might. I don't. I don't think he's here today. He might have gone home. Really? Oh. Yeah. Because he, he wasn't in the room. So maybe we can like go outside and talk to people. Yeah, it's, we can head outside. We can actually <laughs> save Mitsuru until tomorrow. Oh, there he is. I let him. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you, man. Dude, you're gonna die if this takes I'm... five minutes. Yeah, I am. I've accepted that, though. I just heard back from the hospital about my knee. <laughs> the results are in. And it's 100% healed. They said I can keep doing swim team. Dude, I was so happy. I almost broke the doctor's back. I hugged him so hard. <laughs> what was with that? But thinking about it now, if I'd kept hiding the pain in my knee, I get goosebumps, man. I was pushing myself too hard, trying to catch up to you, and I got pissed off because nothing seemed to go right. I went too far again and shot my knee all to hell. Man, I was acting like a little kid. I thought so anyway. I kept saying it was all for my nephew, but it was just my pride. And I got you, the guys on the team, and my parents worried for nothing. Man, I was such a baby and baby. <laughs> I was such an baby. Man, good. I was such an baby. Yeah, no kidding. 
and baby. <laughs> Seriously. Stop saying and baby. It pissed me off to think I was acting like that. Like and baby. Well, at least I finally snapped out of it. Even if it, if it took me long enough. Thanks, Makoto. I couldn't have done it if you hadn't been there for me. No problem. I swear, right here, right now, that I'm going to do better next year. I'm not going to jump to conclusions like that. I'm going to listen to people. It's hard for me, but... Well, that's about it. I just wanted to tell you first. Now I'm going to head to the faculty office and tell everyone there, and then tell the team. Dude, are you alright? You look kind of tired. I'm fine. I am fine. Everyone's doing this. Go get some this. rest, man. Your health is the most important thing, right? Yeah, whatever. We're still signed up for the spring tournament. If you slack off, man, I'm going to leave you in the dust. Oh, man. Later. You know, he really looks like Okuyasu. Um, so, we're only talking to the people we've maxed out, so let's remember yeah. that. Um, let's actually go over to the faculty office. I was thinking the exact same thing you're thinking. Yeah. There's someone in here. Oh. Oh, man. Well, it's almost the end. We may as well say hi to her. Yeah, why not? She's been a good teacher. I like Miss Toriyumi. What up, homies? Anyway, you've been different lately, Miss Toriyumi. You're looking more and more like a professional. Your lesson the other day intrigued me, too. It seemed like you spent a lot of time preparing it. I've never seen you so passionate about teaching before. It's unparalleled. <laughs> unparalleled. Yes, I have been studying more than just making preparations lately. Things like how to communicate the lessons I want to teach. But it does seem odd that I'd start now, though. The thing is, I've decided to stop wasting my time, always living only in the present. How wonderful! Wunderbar! <laughs> I'm impressed by your change of heart. What brought this on? Well, when I was just goofing off one weekend, I met someone. So I took a closer look at my life. That person. Well, was it? Yes, it must have been a person. Ah, yes, I understand. I myself once went through a similar epiphany. Now that I think about it, I met my darling husband thanks to a destiny called fate. To a destiny called destiny, essentially. Yeah, pretty much. A destiny called fate? Isn't that like saying my headache hurts? I take my socks off. Yeah, yeah, kinda, actually. <laughs> my headache hurts. Yeah, it's pretty redundant. <laughs> Anyway, isn't that a harsh thing to say to a single girl like me? <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me. Hey, you could bang a dude if you wanted to. Teacher seemed busy. You decided to leave. Oh. Oh, okay. Ah, Yuki-kun. Is everything okay? Do you need something? I swear to God. You don't look well. Maybe you should visit the nurses. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, you dropped something. Miss Toriyumi picked up your cell phone. It seems Miss Toriyumi noticed the wallpaper on it. This! Now, now, Makoto. Cell phones aren't allowed at school. Hmm? That screen. 
red downward. I love you. Oh my god, he made his friggin' background. Yeah, we did. My. What a charming confession of love. Did you make this, Makoto? It's from my online girlfriend. <laughs> Don't say that. Why not? <laughs> oh no. I'm getting flashbacks of high school. We're saying it. The online girlfriend? Sly, slow look over at Toriyumi. Never mind that. What's going on? Why would Makoto-kun have this screen cap? D don't tell me he got it online, but the only people who were on the servers were... Huh? No. No way. It can't be. It was me all along. Austin. Is this a joke? No, no, no! <laughs> Jesus. So, Toriyumi, you wanna like, do you wanna like go grab a bite to eat or something? Yeah, let's do it. Calm down, Miss Toriyumi. Help, someone call a doctor. She's got some sick dance moves. Yeah. Makoto-kun, don't tell me. You're Tatsuya? I... I said all that... to you? I... I... No, 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 no. This is bad. No! No. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, that's really sad. She's just so embarrassed. Yeah. This can't be happening. I quit this school. I'm leaving. I'm never coming back. Oh, I wish I was dead. Just kill me now. <laughs> we gotta. Hello, Maya san. Ach! Then you really are. Oh. I. I'm... Maya. I'm Maya. I'm Maya, damn it! You got a problem with that? Why don't you say something? Jeez, you idiot! This is so embarrassing! But there was one thing I wanted to say if we ever met face to face. I... It was thanks to you that I was able to turn my life around. So I I'm grateful. <sighs> Wipe that smile off your face, or I'll wipe it off with- <laughs> i wipe it off for you with my fists. Damn. Um, if you don't mind... If you don't mind... Er... 
maybe we could have dinner. Yeah. Hey, I'm legal. Oh, Jesus. Oh, to hell with this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, don't go. No, wait, uh, wait. Uh, oh. uh, all right. Well, maybe we can have dinner sometime. <laughs> maybe we can get in contact with her sometime. Because dinner sounds great. I love Toriyumi. She's yeah, like she's one great. of my one of my favorite characters in the entire game. Um, I love. Can her. we come back for her? or Should we do her now? Uh, yeah, we can come back. All other right. other people are around the place, and uh, I can uh, I can direct you. Sure. Um, I don't think there's. Uh, who's that? Not someone we care about. All right. Nope. Um, the first one we probably want to go look for is at Polonia Mall. Uh, I want I want to see Maiko. <laughs> we will. Okay. Well, there to the right is Nozomi, and if we head over to Club Escapade, that's not Nozomi, by the way. Oh, it's not Nozomi. It's just all fat people, I it's guess. It's just all a right. fat guy. Uh, this guy? Uh, no, the, the guy standing there. Aren't you the boy who used to talk to the monk upstairs? He actually called here, trying to reach you. I think he had a message for you. But I can't quite remember it. Hey, don't freak out. Just hang on a sec. Here you go. I wrote it down. Good thinking, huh? But my handwriting isn't so good. I hope you can read it. I found my wife and son. My son's a good-for-nothing punk. My wife is frigid as usual. That witch. What? Hey, shut up! I'm on the phone! <laughs> a lot's happened, but I apologize a thousand times, and everything's back to normal now. I guess you could say we're back in love with each other. I realized. Rather than holding on to my pride, I needed to suck it up and apologize. Thanks to you, Makoto. Take care, kid. Till we meet again. That's the end of it. I hope I didn't miss anything. You didn't leave any contact info or anything. But I'm sure you'll meet him again somewhere. Hey, maybe you should become a monk. Those guys all know each other, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, stop by this place anytime if you want a drink. As soon as you're over 21, of course. See ya. See ya. Whoa, that was weird. Uh-oh. That was weird. Ooh. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. The recording's still going? Yeah, but there is, I think the delay's more so. The delay, did the delay just fuck up? Yeah, eh, actually, I think it's okay. Let's just, we can leave now. There's no one else here. Yeah, okay. Next place to go is the Iwatodai Strip Mall. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit more. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's tough. <laughs> I, saw the, I saw the little, like, me. Yeah, right it's the tough. There. So there's that guy right there, I think? This that's guy? The, yeah, that guy. Oh, is that? Oh, that's that's Michael's father, I think. Hmm? Your. How, okay, so how bad is this? I'll, I'll read it. It's, so it's like a second see. longer now. Makoto-kun, right? 
I'm Maiko's dad. Yeah, it seems a lot worse. Yeah, it's... If you have a minute, could we sit and talk for a while? We can, um... We can cut it if you want. Uh, we can fix it right here, yeah. Because you can just do the sinking by going up, down, up, down here. Yeah, alright. Good. I was hoping you'd say that. Here, have a seat. How is my go? Want some talk? Ow! Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Ow! You all right? Fuck. Mmm. Like, you know that moment where if, like, your ass has been numb because you've been sitting on it for too long and you stand up and all the blood rushes to it and yeah. it just hurts? It just hurts for a little bit. I thought you just what? really wanted some takoyaki and you bit your no. tongue or something. No, I hurt my ass. All right. Want some takoyaki? Stand here is really good. Yeah, I love Octopia. Oh, I guess you know already, huh? Sure. You're not gonna have some? When I see this place, I remember all the times I'd come here with Maiko. She came here when she ran away from home, too. She really loved the takoyaki. She was a good kid, huh? Was she? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> She's so good that I wonder if she's really my kid sometimes. Oh, so what you're saying is you're an asshole. Damn. I got a letter from Maiko. It's long and full of details about her new life over there. She says she's made a lot of friends. Let's see, she's in charge of the rabbits at her new school. She has to get up early to clean the cages. They yelled at her for forgetting her PE uniform. She forgot her homework and had to copy a friend's. They never knew she was that forgetful. Oh, and she did so well at her recorder test that she was asked to perform in front of everyone. Then she goes on to talk about how she plays at the park right by the school with her friends every day. Her mother's doing well too. They're having a lot of fun together. Having fun. Sounds nice. Yep. Yeah, Sounds yeah, nice. It's really um, um, um. Nowadays, I come home to an empty house. The room seems so big without them. I'm not even listening. Um, um, um. I wonder if she feels the same way about her house, now that there's no dad in it. Put that kid through so much on account of our own problems. I feel terrible about it all. It uh, Whoa, it's just <laughs> gone. It just <laughs> melded into he our stomach. put it stomach. in his pocket or something. Yeah. Anyway, as for you... Oh yeah, forgot about this part, you little punk. Why you call me a little punk? Hey, seems Maiko really took a shine to you. She wrote all about you. Here you all are. I can't wait to grow up, Dad. Because <laughs> he's the one still saying it. He's, yeah, he's still saying it. That's why I'm drinking lots of milk. I'm going to marry him someday. What's up with that, you punk? I didn't do it. You were taking advantage of my little Maiko, weren't you? Maybe I haven't been the best dad, but I'm still her father, damn it. And I'm not letting a guy like you touch Maiko with a 10 foot pole. I'll never let you marry her. Don't forget it. Yeah, just run away. <laughs> I think he really just wanted to feel like her dad for a bit. Yeah, that's fine. 
It sounds like he misses her. Um, well, we can head to the bookstore. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? Oh, hello, Makoto-chan. How have you been? God, it's been so long. Yeah, it really has. You've grown so much since the last time I saw you. Come on, dear. There's no way he could have grown that much in such a short time. What must have happened is that we shrank. Right, Makoto-chan? Ah, good point, good point. You've got me there. By the way, Makoto-chan, I'm thinking of giving this old place a remodeling. I'll make it even showier than the wing they're adding to Gekko-Khan. Speaking of which, the school's decided to move the persimmon tree to another field. It'll be replanted on a hill where you can see the whole campus. So our son can still watch over the school and its students. That's nice. I know that tree isn't really our son, but it still makes me happy. Really, I thought for a second that you thought that the tree was your child. But if the tree really is your son? Once my dear wife heard, she couldn't stop crying. Come on, smile! Bah! 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 <laughs> He's a sheep. Don't yell, dear. Your dentures will fall out. Bah! Anyhow, we'll support the Gekokan High students as best we can. You look very mature now, Makoto-chan. Really? I thought I looked sick. You must have been working so hard. Come visit us anytime. Sure. Thank you. So there should be a restaurant around here. Who the fuck are these wild... people? Oh, there we go. We talk to them? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Sure. Talk to them. Oh, man. I heard that the key to Hagakure's success is its secret menu. Can you tell us more about that? It's a little embarrassing, but... One day, this student saw what I was preparing and said he wanted to try some. I didn't want to give it to him, but he insisted, so I made him a bowl. He tasted it and said, Hmm, put some fish flakes in it. So I did, and you know what? It was so good, I decided to put it on the menu. Though it wasn't my idea, so I kept it as a secret menu item only. I didn't really appreciate his attitude, but I learned a lot from that kid. Yeah, fuck that kid. He's getting more and more popular in this strip mall. He's pretty much an idol here. An idol? Him? Oh yes. Nozomi is the one who made this coffee shop famous. No, that's oh, wait, the no, girl. That's the <laughs> <laughs> well, I've said it. Now I gotta continue with it. Sure. His appearance and mannerisms may be eccentric. But he has an encyclopedia knowledge of food and a discerning palate. No one else comes close. All our patrons know him. You got a Patreon? Oh, shit. All of them, huh? How do you feel about his announced plans to leave here and tour the world of food? I was devastated, of course. But I wish him well in whatever he wants to do. I heard he's working on a book. I can't wait to read it. Even though he's far away by now, 
I feel like he's right next to me. I hope his journey goes well for him. Good. The interview continues. So Nozomi has gone on a world food tour. Nozomi's a food man. And he's doing food things with food people. And that is it. That's all that's here. Oh, okay. Um, next place to go is we're going to head to Naganaki Shrine. Sure. Man, can you imagine how long this would be if we maxed everyone? Yeah. We'd have a few more. Yo. That's a dog. Look at that dog. Is there We're anything? not going to talk about that dog. <gasps> There's a person over there. Is that important? Well, There's a person. Let's go see what they want. I'm going to talk to them. Hello there. Oh. You must be... Um, by any chance, is your name Makoto-kun? Yes. That's me. I see. So, you're Makoto Kun. Don't mind the voice, I've been smoking. Oh, excuse me. I'm Mrs. Kamiki. Akinari's mother. My son talked about you a lot. I was just thinking about him. If you have time, could you sit here and talk about him with me? Fuck yeah! That's wonderful. Please sit down. I'm hype. Today is... a special day. Then this shall be our meeting place. What a coincidence seeing you today. It must be another of God's tricks. Today is my son's, Akinari's birthday. He'd be 20 if he was still alive. That's really funny, because you know what? If we had come here tomorrow, when you'd still be here, you'd probably say the same thing for some reason. Not sure why. Don't worry about it. Only 19 years. More like 19 and a half, but sure. It wasn't long enough. He was almost an adult, but he never made it. He had a genetic disease. Me, I'm healthy as a horse, but him. The doctors detected it at birth. They knew he wouldn't live to see adulthood. Every day, I wondered if he'd wake up the next morning. I blamed myself for what he inherited. But... He said something to me near the end. I'm sorry to have brought so much pain into your life, Mother. I'm glad to have been given life. I'm glad to have been your son. Thank you so much for the life you have given me. That's what he said. He was the one who suffered so much, and yet he said that to me. But my son brought me a lot of joy, too. Holding his warm body in my arms just after he was born. Those tiny hands. That first smile. Hearing him breathe easily at night. Every day, I gave thanks for him being alive. Every day. I found new joy in him. And now, I'm so lonely, and there's nothing I can do. But my boy gave me so much. 
but I have to keep on going, looking straight ahead. That's how I feel. I'll eat the finest foods, visit the most exotic places. Everything my boy could never do. I'll have so many stories to tell him about the things I've done. On that day, when we meet again on the other side. If I didn't have that to look forward to, I don't know how I could go on. That reminds me, when my son's condition worsened, he started writing a fable. But when I was cleaning out his room, I never found the notebook. He said he was going to show it to you first when he was done. I asked why not me, and he laughed and said, You'll be the second one to see it, Mom. I suppose he wasn't able to finish the story. He did finish it. What? So, was he able to give you the notebook? I... I see. I'm so glad. That was my only regret. It was awful to think that he wasn't able to finish his project. I see. You should hold on to the notebook. I'm sure that's what my boy would have wanted. I'll wait for him to tell it to me himself when I see him again. <laughs> now I have something else to look forward to. I'm glad you and I could finally meet. Thank you. There is one piece of advice I'd like to give you, as an old lady to a young man. Take good care of the ones dearest to you. If you wait until their time has come, and you're clinging to their cold bodies, then it's too late. Everyone who's born will die someday. Not just Akinari or me or you. It happens to everyone. So before that happens, it doesn't take a grand gesture. You don't have to make a big production of it, but if you love someone, let them know it. We all go through life with the same struggles, the same heartbreak. We should be able to prop each other up with the same love and kindness as well. I'm sure you have something precious you can share with people. Always remember that. He's gonna leave after that? Damn. Well... You know what? Mm. I guess there is someone that we could tell we love. Let's head back to the school. What about this dog? Don't fucking ruin the moment, you piece of shit! There she is. <sighs> hmm? What's the matter? You don't look well. Just wanna to talk to a dog. Make sure to get some rest, Makoto. My apologies. I meant, of course, Yuki. Oh, come on. If you don't mind, could we go somewhere to talk? 
I have some business to take care of later on. But I want to be with you until then. Let's go to the student council room then. I'd like to see it once more before I graduate. This room brings back memories. I was only away for a little while due to the exams. The results haven't been posted yet, but I don't have any doubts that I passed. This spring, I'll formally become a university student. So, this will be my last chance to see the view from here. I don't have much time today. All the members of the head family are gathering for a briefing session. The Carijo group looks strong right now, but it's actually very frail. It could collapse at any time. I must stay strong. Hmm. <laughs> You're right. Resting is as important as work. But this is our only chance. I've accepted that I must make sacrifices. I'll tell you what. If I do become exhausted as a result of this, I'll have you heal me. I'll salivate you. <laughs> salivate. I'll salivate you. Soon. I'll be saying my farewells to the dorm, too. Sorry, I messed that up. I'm bad. I've been slowly packing up my things, but it's not going well. Everything brings back memories. A book, a picture, a piece of clothing, on and on. My senior year seemed short, but very full. It went by so quickly. Especially after you arrived. Any time I'd pass you in the dorm or speak with you, I thought my heart would burst. I never knew I had such feelings inside. If you hadn't come to this school, I wonder what would have become of me. If I hadn't met you, would I have accepted my arranged marriage? Or would I have gotten on my motorcycle one day, driven off, and never returned? Fate is a mysterious thing. But there's no use dwelling on the past. I have, thing I have things that must be done to secure a future for the Carijo group and myself. You can be part of that future too, Makoto. Oh shit. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, sorry. Do you understand? Come visit the Carijo head family sometime. Don't worry, it's just to say hello. Yeah, I'm sure. I want them to get used to your face. It's almost time. I have to be on my way. I wish we could see each other back at the dorms, but I'll be late tonight. Maybe this weekend? Just the two of us, of course. Damn. Well, see you. Alright, bye. I love her. Yeah, she's great. You wanna just, like, wrap her up in a blanket and 
ram it right in her. Like a caterpillar. <laughs> just ram a caterpillar in the butt. What the fuck are you <laughs> doing right now? It's four o'clock in the nothing... morning. You're right, it is. Alright, we can go back to the dorm. I didn't think this would take this long. To I be didn't honest. either. I did not either. I really didn't. I don't remember these. Yeah, I don't remember them either. I was expecting this session to be like two hours long. It's four. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, three and a half. Yeah. I may go talk to the dog. Because he didn't let me before. I just wanted to talk to him. Look at that dog. It's a dog. It's Koromaru! Yeah, you didn't know! I was telling you! I didn't think it was Koromaru. I thought it was just some random dog. Jesus. Oh. He's I sad because him. he didn't let him talk to you. <laughs> no, he misses his owner. Yeah. Oh. I want to hug him. Poor doggy. I'm out of here. Is that it? That's it. Wow, I feel like we're missing something. We did not max anybody else. All right. That's that's those. What about Igus? Can... Uh, don't worry about her. All right. Dorm. Yeah. All right. What up, homies? Oh, what about Tanaka? Don't worry about it. All right. The news is on. Coming up next. Oh, okay. <laughs> a special report on the Amazing Commodities Corp of the Tanaka's Amazing Commodities Program. President Tanaka's failure to account for certain expenditures has caused a media stir lately. We now join our field reporter live from the scene. Yes, he's currently eating shit. I'm reporting from the Amazing Commodities head office where a swarm of journalists has convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air here can't be denied. Thank you, and we'll be looking forward to updates as soon as anything happens. Back to the studio. And we're back! The unaccounted expenditure has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize that tax evasion is the cause... Oh, there's no question about that. I remind you that this is President Tanaka we're talking about. He tricks his own viewers for a few extra bucks. I bet he slit his mama's throat for a 5 yen piece. Damn, that's pretty hardcore. <laughs> no matter how high his net worth rises, he'll never be satisfied. Damn, this commentator. He's lower than the scum on an earthworm's belly. All that money and no charities e ever seen a dime. Well, I'm sure he's not as bad as all that. Oh, this just in. Something has happened at the scene. Suddenly his body has appeared. President Tanaka has emerged. He's been killed. He's carrying a microphone. Looks like he's going to... Sing? Oh my god. Here comes Tanaka! Over the airwaves to you! It's fucking stupid. Granter of your desires. Hi, everyone. Amazing Commodities is here for you, year-round, rain or shine. We have a monopoly on the cheapest, highest quality goods. Our customers' ecstatic screams cause noise pollution. Our stocks rise so high, they're a hazard to birds, and we make losers every day out of people who don't buy. 
We're the only miracle left in this sad, desolate world. That's the amazing commodities guarantee. I want to punch him. We look forward to your business. He just leaves. He just... He... Yeah. What a showman. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, he's gone. What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a journalist? Yeah, why aren't you running after that car? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, it's as good as free advertising. We'll have to interrupt you there as we've just received a fax. It's from President Tanaka. The message reads, Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook ever had. God, I hate him. And what's in my pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money, so what's it to them how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I'm not ashamed of a single thing. My conscience is clear, dear viewers. So buy my products, guilt-free. Amazing commodities, here for you year-round, rain or shine. Buy now, or drown in bitter tears. Bye-bye. Apparently, he had no intention of revealing his use for the funds. Has this Tanaka no shame? Just because he's made some money for himself doesn't mean he can toy with the common man's emotions. As self-appointed representative of Joe Q Public, I have something to say and I'm not afraid to say it. Fat pigs like him who gorge themselves on the excesses of capitalism should be... All right, thank you very much. We're just going to Thanks very out. much as we wrap up on our special report. All right, see you later. With no new clues as to how the funds have been used, we can only hope that they want that they went to humanitarian purposes. Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market. Fuck yeah, I've been waiting all day for this. Where amazing commodity stocks are skyrocketing on the strength of the bizarre revelations just now. Awesome. However that works. Sure. It's a well, very successful business. All, is, all quiet. is quiet. Doesn't seem like the others have returned yet. They all must be enjoying the peaceful evening. Even though you've just returned from school. You're feeling very tired. Yeah, I've been sick all day. Yeah, everyone said I feel like, or I look like shit. You should go to sleep early tonight. Yeah, what if I don't feel like that? That was me earlier this week. Yeah. That was. I was sick. No one's around. So No one's around. It's all empty. I'm gonna... You should just go to sleep. I'm gonna save. Sure. We, we talk to a lot of people. Yep. As your saving power goes out. God, fuck you. To what, bed. What if I want to study? <laughs> study. It's important. Man, it's Thursday. Yep. That's the end of it for today. Um, we got nothing to do. Hey, jump pay. Oh, man. Hey, something's been bothering me. We used to sit in that empty seat. That was... Uh, that was... You don't remember either, huh? Dude, it's driving me nuts. I don't know. I don't know. 
Where'd that where'd that come from? Driving me nuts. I don't actually know. <laughs> I I don't remember what the I don't know what the fucking background is on using the word nuts for crazy. I probably could talk to that guy. Is you he still in our classroom? I don't know. I don't know, but I mean, we don't really have anything to do, so we may as well just head back. Still kind of not feeling great. Yeah, know? I guess. I'm not. I, I I don't know about you. No, I think you. You know what? I think you're fine. Okay. I think we'll be. I think we'll be super fine though if we get some rest. Yeah, like maybe. <laughs> Still quiet. Why am I so yeah. tired? Feeling very tired. Yeah, it's just, you know, like I said. Senior graduation day. There it is. To see, uh, we gotta be rested so we can see off the girlfriend with. Yeah, I'm excited. Look at me. All right. <laughs> It's me, I guess. May I please come in? Sure. <laughs> Coming from the void? Yeah. You're that girl what was staring at us the other Thank day. Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. What's on your mind? I remember everything. Everyone seems to have forgotten. But I remember... that day... we... I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did at the last battle. Graduation's today, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. Such nice weather outside. Do you remember? The promise we all made? Why don't we go there and wait for the others? We can enjoy the view of this peaceful city. The time to part has finally come. Though this is our last day together, we want the senior class to know that you've truly earned our respect. We wish each of you good Is that health, happiness, and prosperity. Fuck. On this auspicious occasion, I bid you all <sighs> Yeah. On behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kurijo. Thank you. Was there any doubt? I was pulling for Akihiko. <laughs> this last year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. Well, it must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness?
Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. It's a big day. Must be tough thinking about her father. I remember. Yes. With my father's death, I lost my purpose in life. Hang on. Wasn't I supposed to? Akihiko Senpai. What's up? Sit down, you two. But now, I have something to live for. No longer will I run from the future. I will face it head on, carrying out my father's will. I am resolved, and without reservation. Promise! I owe it all to my invaluable friends. And we have promised to never lose hope, no matter what tomorrow may bring. Senpai, we made a promise. Let's find him, and I guess too. Yes, I can hardly wait. Everyone, let's go! The wind feels so nice. This is my first time experiencing spring. But this season will eventually pass. After fighting alongside you and facing the world's end, I finally began to understand what it means to live. Thinking for yourself, not running away, accepting the inevitable. All things eventually come to an end. Every living thing will one day disappear. Only by accepting this can one discover what they truly want, what the meaning of their life will be. I understand now why I was so tormented by my lack of strength. Protecting others became more than just an order I had to obey. I wanted to do it for my own reasons. I realized this once I decided to try and prevent the fall. When I thought I might never see you again, something else became clear to me. What I wanted most. And so, I made up my mind. I decided that I would continue to protect you. I want to be your strength. I know I'm not the only one who can do this, but that's okay. My life will be worth living if it's for this reason. <laughs> Thank you. You're right. What am I doing? I understand now. <laughs> So I should be happy. Hey! Everyone! I realize now that I have friends as well. You don't have to save the world to find meaning in life. Sometimes, all you need is something simple like someone to take care of. I'll keep on living no matter what, so that I can protect you. Thank you for everything. You must be tired. Please, get some rest. I'll stay right here with you.
soon. All your friends will be here by your side. Don't worry. I will always be by your side, protecting you. Let's get a little teary guy there. Oh man, this was a good game. Yeah. What a good game. Uh, the the age shows, but it's yeah. There's some points where it's clearly older. Yeah. Um. I wonder if that just shows like our current persona. I don't know. Um, it might. It might. Oh no, because be we had because we had um. Because we had a, a Metatron equipped, right? No, we had Messiah at the end. Oh, okay. Well, then, cool. We somehow made that work. <laughs> it was perfect. Um, there's a little bit of ambiguity with that ending. Um, I hope people know what happened, because I don't want to... I, I kind of want to explain it, just in case, but I kind of don't. Um, it's up to you. I, you know what? Um, hmm. are, are we gonna do the answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to, honestly. Well, um, because a lot of it's like it's just Tartarus, and then like sometimes you get like a scene, and then it's more Tartarus. Well then. Uh, I will sort of go through what happens in the answer so that people understand what yeah. happened there because the ending was ambiguous, but the answer clears it up and lets you know exactly what happened. It is canon, uh, so no worries about that. Um, answer takes place on March 31st, 2010, so a few weeks after the end here. And uh, during the opening uh, of the answer, it's revealed that the protagonist us right there peacefully died in his sleep while he was resting with Igis. Um, the seas group can only speculate that his death is related to him using his life force to defeat Nyx. School year ends and the dorm is to be closed down soon and Igis reveals to the group that she will not be attending school next year. Um, during their last dinner party the seas members discover that they are trapped in their dorm and that the day March 31st is repeating itself. Uh, a large door-like hole opens in the floor of the dorm and sees it attacked by Metis, an anti-shadow weapon similar to Igis. Uh, in the midst of fighting Metis to protect her friends, Igis' persona Athena transforms into Orpheus, who's the original per uh, persona that we had, and she gains the wild card ability. Um... She's able to subdue Metis, and uh, they discover that underneath the dorm is, an, is a place called the Abyss of Time, which is the cause of the time skip. And it contains seven doors, they have to go in, it's kind of like Tartarus all over again. Mm -hmm. um, at the top of the seventh and final door, however, uh, they fight a shadow-like version of Makoto, our, our character. And after defeating it, they each obtain a key. By combining the keys, they are able to end the time skip and leave the dorm. However, Metis prevents Cease with an alternative. Instead of unlocking the front door of the dorm, they may also use the keys to travel back in time to before the fight against Nyx and the death of the protagonist. 
Yukari wants this alternative because she wants another chance to save him, and Mitsuru supports her. However, the rest of the team feels this is too dangerous. Now unable to agree on how to use them, Seize determines that they must fight each other to decide. Aegis, Fuka, and Metis claim all eight keys, which fuse into the final key. Yukari attempts to steal the key from Aegis, but Metis reveals that it's impossible. Uh, Yukari finally admits her grief over the protagonist. She made a promise as well, but unlike Aegis, it was to herself. She promised to change the world into a peaceful one to make people stop wishing for the fall, but admits she can't be that person and doesn't care about anything but seeing the protagonist again. The party, feeling her sorrow, comforts her. With the resolution strengthened, she decided to respect Aegis's decision of leaving the past the way it was. However, after this debate, they discover a third new door in the Abyss of Time, which the group uses, without the final key, to travel to the moment the protagonist sealed Nyx from the world. Metis explains that the purpose of the seal created by the protagonist was not to seal Nyx away herself, who is not inherently evil, but to prevent humanity's despair from calling out to Nyx and bringing out about the fall once more. The subconscious will of man to despair and wish for death constantly rebirths a monster called Erebus that summons Nyx to destroy the world. Metis implies that Erebus's contact with Nyx is what causes the fall. Seas realizes that the wish that created Erebus also claim, uh, came from them, and so they fight it and are able to defeat it. And that is basically the answer. And that is the end. Um, I yeah. will also add that the end hmm. of the of the answer does see them summon to the Velvet Room, where they meet Igor, and they he explains that Metis is a manifestation of Igis's personality that was distraught over the death of us, and that that's where she was she was from the Abyss of Time, and yeah. But yeah. That is that is the answer. Um, that is what happened. I do. Um, I I kind of did want to talk about um, a debate that people have over the characters from Persona Four and Persona Three, but I kind of fucked up and just talked about the answer. <laughs> but that's fine because we're not going to do it, and that's important to talk about too. Yeah. So that's fine. I mean, it's no big deal. Uh, I had I had a lot of fun on this project. It you was, know, I I did as well. And it's, go ahead. How long was this? How long did this take? We started us? in May, I think. Fuck. And it is December now. Yeah. Eight days. Eight days away from Christmas. Christmas. And um, this is the longest game on my channel. <laughs> and I never thought I'd have like such a long project with someone i don't think i could ever do a game of this length with anyone but you honestly so thank you for joining me uh you are most not welcome <laughs> and i had a terrible time i will never do this again same I'm here kidding. i i hope you kill yourself <laughs> <laughs> uh well i mean you know it was it was a good long adventure i hope everybody enjoyed it because you know i think our greatest feat was the great jape of jape pay of jape pay yeah jape pay um that I was, was pretty really, good i was really happy that someone was really concerned that junpei would never get a chance to shine and then we're like nah fuck you don't even realize we've had this planned for a good while. Yeah, we were planning on it. Um, it was pretty so fun. So that was, that was fun. Because um, I kept seeing the Junpei comments. I'm like, you know what? We got to do this. Don't worry. It's a meme. Um, but, you know, I mean, it was a really long game. Uh, I think it was worth it. It made me... Playing through it again made me appreciate the game more. Mm-hmm. Um, I still think I like Persona 4 a little more, if only because the gameplay is better. I mean, yeah. technically speaking, Persona 4 is a better game. Um, 
but the characters and the story that was told in Persona 3, I think, is a little bit better because it's a story about death and, you know, the end of the world and how people have to deal with that. And it's thematically, it's really good. I think the theme was better than Persona 4's theme. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I really appreciate that this game exists now more so than I did before. Yeah. I really hope someday they may come back and like do like a whole remake of this version. I know P3P updates a lot of what is wrong with the game and they update all the, you know, the whole battle system with the Persona 4 update. So it makes it a lot better. Mm -hmm. And it also adds like the whole girl version, which opens up a lot of different social links, which is, was a really nice touch. So P3P is really good. Um, I really like walking around though, walking through school and everything. So that's like my only gripe with it. So that's yeah. kind of why I didn't want to do P3P. So yeah, I just hope, I, I hope maybe one day they may come back to this game and update it. Mm-hmm. But um, I love this game. <clears throat> I It can be a little tedious. Tartarus isn't the best. Um, but I really love this game. I love certain scenes in it. I love the music, especially the last month. The last month has like some of the greatest music and the final boss theme is amazing and Nyx is awesome. There's so many good things in this game and it definitely has its flaws, but I I always had a stronger connection with it than Persona 4. But well, uh that was may, a really maybe, hmm. That was a really long adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for another one? No. Too bad. What's the matter? Are you simply going to watch? Was your previous decision a mistake then? I am thou. Thou art I. <laughs> Call upon my name and release thy rage! It's time.